IBS 2000 gives engineers more options when designing floor systems, improve performance, save money, reduce callbacks, and satisfy more customers. As the owner of a construction company, I always get comments from customers about the bounce and vibration in our floors. We use U.S. code criteria, but we still have a vibration problem. Of course, we can resolve some of these issues, but only by substantially exceeding code and increasing our costs. Well, the problem is L over criterion deals with uniform live load. However, when a person walks across the floor, each step generates point load, causing bounce and vibration. Do you know of an affordable solution that would cut down the vibration and bounce in our floors? Actually, I do. It's not in the code, but there's a solution that was identified in the American Forest and Paper Association, American Society of Civil Engineers, Standard 1695, Chapter 10, Serviceability Considerations. Really, what is it? The AFPA Standard 1695 says that research was done on floor bounce and vibration and different solutions were proposed, but one of the solutions shows great effectiveness and reliability. It limits point load deflection relative to span as per the following formula. 7.5 over span on 1.2 in millimeters or 1.2 over span on 1.2 in inches. IBS 2000 was invented to help satisfy this criterion. So what is IBS 2000 and how does it change the floor design? IBS 2000 is a load sharing engineering device that facilitates floor system response. The effect of using IBS 2000 is better explained if we look at the different phases of a floor as a system. No composite action. Joists carry point load as individual beams. Deflection is maximal. Moderate composite action. Floor becomes a basic structural system and a small part of the point load is transferred to nearby joists. Deflections are reduced. Improved composite action. Although conventional bridging transfers more point load sideways, the non-moment connection and inherently unreliable connection prevents conventional bridging from providing a solution to floor bounce and vibration. Advanced composite action. The IBS 2000, with superior moment stiffness and inherently excellent connection, provides superior load sharing. That sounds great. What testing have you done to back this up? Yes, we conducted numerous tests with consistent results. Here's one of the tests, witnessed by Louisiana Pacific engineers. The graph shows results of a seven joist wide floor loaded at center joist. We tested bare floor, then we added IBS 2000 alone, then added strapping to the IBS 2000 floor, and then finally bare floor again. That looks impressive. How about dynamic tests? Here are free vibration tests on the same floor. Figure two, bare floor, maximum amplitude is 0 0.019 inches, and duration of vibration is about two seconds. Figure three, the same floor equipped with IBS 2000 units, maximum amplitude is 0 0.01 inches, and duration of vibration is 0.85 seconds. So the IBS 2000 floor had smaller amplitude, shorter vibration time, and much less work. This looks good, but how about durability of connection to the iJoist flange? We specifically designed a test for that purpose on request of the iJoist manufacturer. The floor was pulled down 1.2 million times, approximately four times the floor's expected lifespan, and deflection of the three joists and pull force was not affected. As it is clear from the table below, starting and ending readings were practically the same. So how could you use IBS 2000? To focus on improving performance or to focus on designing a longer span relative to code spans? We can either radically increase floor performance if spans were taken to the max using L over 360 criterion, or if spans were calculated using L over 480 or larger criterion, we can increase spans moderately. Here's the analysis that shows the gain in spans for U.S. floors designed using L over 480 criterion. IBS 2000 appears to be a great solution to radically reduce floor vibration, as well as to save money by extending the span or increasing spacing for L over 480 floors while maintaining good vibration performance. IBS 2000 is a great solution, not just to radically reduce floor vibration, but also save money by extending the span while maintaining performance. IBS 2000 floors can benefit from the combination of both by allowing for an additional span design and improve performance. For additional technical information, visit ibs2000.com 
or call us at 1-877-496-4355.